Hey guys, welcome back to Junk to Style. It is NFL season, Super Bowl is coming up, and I wanted to make a quick t-shirt. Um, actually not for myself, but for a friend of mine who is a big San Francisco fan, so she's really excited for the game. So I really wanted to make this t-shirt and help her celebrate it a little bit more. So let's get started. For this project, you will need a blank t-shirt, uh, preferably in the color to match the, your team or the theme you're going for. A brush or a sponge will also work, or a piece of a sponge, some scissors, a box cutter. You could also use an X-Acto knife for this. A Ziploc bag, preferably the thicker, durable kind for frozen items. Fabric paint and glitter and spray adhesive glue or any general glue should work for this. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is take my Ziploc bag and I'm going to cut it up a little bit. And now I did use a Ziploc bag that has a little bit of thickness on it because I wanted to have some um, durability. And I'm just going to cut around here and make sure that the size is big enough for where, what design you're making. And make sure that your design also fits it within the size of the bag. Okay, so now that I have two um, pieces, I'm going to cut my design out. Now what I'm going to do is use my spray adhesive to spray the paper onto the plastic. You can use tape or, um, or glue. Any sort of glue should work. And I'm going to just trace the S and the F in this one, so I have the stencil for that color as well. It's kind of how screen printing is done um, for, you know, t-shirts and sweatshirts. And I'm going to place the newspaper here so that whenever, when I'm cutting, it doesn't affect anything below. So the more layers of newspaper you use, the better, the safer it is for, um, the table that you're working on and you can put a chopping board also to um, better secure. Now that your paper is attached to the ziplock, you're going to start cutting it out. I use small scissors. You can use the box cutter or the X-Acto knife and just trim around the edge. Once you're done, slowly peel off the paper. To puff the shirt, we're going to put newspaper in the middle of it. So just put it under and make sure it's smooth and flattened. We're going to use a little bit of glue for our stencil on our shirt so it doesn't move when we're applying the paint on. Make sure when you're applying it to hold it down for a while to make sure that everything is stuck on pretty well. Cut a hole in a newspaper to protect the rest of the shirt while printing. With the fabric paint, we're going to apply it on some paper using the brush we're going to use that, scoop some of the paint, and start applying it on the shirt and through the stencil. Make sure you get a nice, even layer of paint that's pretty thick and covers the entire design. Take the glitter and start sprinkling it over the design. Make sure you have a nice, thick layer that covers the entire design, and you can pat it a little bit to make sure that it stays in there and is covering the design. After a few minutes, slowly peel the stencil off, careful not to touch the design. You will probably want to leave this overnight to let the paint sit and dry, or as per the instructions on the And there's your final design. Hope you guys have fun with this and have a fun and safe Super Bowl. Thanks again, Junk to Style.